Hi my dolls, welcome back to another tutorial. So, um, I went ahead and I did my eyebrows and I also did a um, the eye look off camera. It is very colorful. So today's palette is bought to you guys by the um, crayon case. It's the matte notebook. It looks like this. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for forever. I'm having um, fun playing in this palette. It's just a great mixture of colors. I'm not quite finished with my eye sister. I'm not quite finished with the eye, but I wanted to um, show you guys the colors that I will be using. It's the same color for the under eye, minus maybe one. I'm going to use my gold eyeliner for the... Um, my waterline so it's a pretty big palette um i'll be using this brown then this brown this purple i don't know if you're seeing it then this purple i'll be using the red the orange am i missing another no that's it i think that's it so without Further ado, don't mind my eyebrows. I will fix it once I'm finished with everything else. I do kind of unibrow to make sure it's on the same level. Um, I was told that you know eyebrows they're not uh, twins, they're cousins, something like that. Something like. That. And base my lids. The color that I used on top was from Juliet Julius Place. That's what I used to clean up my brows. I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend that out. And with that, I'm using kind of an angle brush. And I'm going to start off with this light brown. Then I'm going to go in with the, um, this dark brown. Then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade um, brown. I'm going to put that right there on the very tippy top. So, as I can get to my um, eyebrows, and I'm and I'm gonna tap that in. You guys can blend it in or uh, green screen wipe motion, whichever one works best for you. I kind of realize that I do both. I tend to tap it in, then I go in with um, the windscreen wiper motion. Uh, but I'll let you guys know the colors that I'm using because it's a big palette. Still working with that dark brown. Now I'm going to take the lighter brown to give it that... Um, dark color I would still mix, mix in both colors so I'm just tapping those colors together <laughs> all right so with every color besides the browns I use a different brush so for the purple I use a new brush the orange I use a new brush, the red I use a new brush, and there's a tint of um, brown in there, and that's still a new brush, and then the um, green, that's still a new brush. Um, if you don't have as much brush as I have, or I don't know what you guys' situation is, you guys can do um, one color on one side, and then you flip it around and do another color. That's how I used to do it, when I used to practice back in the days. I'm still practicing now. So we're starting with the purple. I am blending this purple right here, which is kind of like a, what is that? Brown and then a light, sorry. This is a dark purple and then a tad lighter one. Um, In that same area that I put the brown, I'm gonna blend the purple with the brown and place it directly under that, tap that, up, tap that into it. 
I really want to just make it as small and bring it over. That's for the dark color. And as you get over some more, you fade it out with the lighter one. Now that I have concealed um, my lids after cutting my crease, I'm going to start off with that orange. Um, because the palette is so large, I didn't really show you guys the color. But I'm going to start off with that orange and I'm going to tap that into my skin. I'm um, sorry. I'm going to tap that into onto my lids before going in with the red. Now I'm going to take that red and place it right on top of the orange just to give it that nice blend. And you want to take your time and either tap it into your skin or whatever method you use. You want to take your time to fuse the colors together. And once I'm finished with that, I took that light brown that I showed you guys in the previous clip. And I did the same step as I took with the... um red and yellow I'm gonna do the same step with the um, brown and red and I'm gonna repeat that step over again for the um, orange and brown again you want to fuse the colors nicely so what I find that works best for me I can't speak for anybody else is when I take my time and I tap the colors into my skin once I'm finished tapping the colors into my skin I make sure I go ahead and get that nice blend I always make sure that I get that nice blend and if it means that I need to use 45 different brush I'm going to use 45 different brush onto my um, face makeup. I've been experimenting with different brands. Um, in this video right here, I'm using e.l.f. And let me tell you, a little of e.l.f. products, they go a long way. Um, I used their foundation, their FPS foundation. And I'm telling you, all I needed was a drop on my cheeks, my chin, and then my forehead, and I blended out nicely. I also went ahead and I purchased their concealer. The concealer that I am using, what I did was I... um. Put a little bit under my eye and the rest that was on the beauty blender I went ahead and used it for my forehead my nose and my chin um, and this was it this is an elf um, concealer also <laughs>
as always dolls this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoy the tutorial please i'm asking you guys once again to be safe outside wear masks you know the whole nine yards um protect yourself and your family and until next time you guys please again be safe bye guys